and his camera and we can see how that looks awesome there we go how are you doing kr doing good buddy how are you doing you can hear me yeah you sound great um so yes it's cool um well kr was just streaming he actually rated in and then appears in the picture so that's kind of fun uh, i thought that uh kr last minute we talked about maybe doing something like that see if it would work uh and it seems to so um uh welcome kr and all the the raiders and uh yeah 13 13 oof it says mississippi yeah it's a it's a tough um baseball game for sure and um Oh, well, welcome to Death's Head, volume one, I guess is what it is. Um, thanks for bringing me here, KR Acoustic. Well, I appreciate you for tuning in. Uh, I usually do a sports show, uh, which we just finished the audio podcast for that uh, live over on our Facebook. Um, and uh, I also have done that now for seven years. Uh, we've talked about the rise and fall of a lot of different Washington, D.C. sports teams. And then while there is no hockey and basketball quite yet, I've thought that I could help some of my friends on Twitch and do some art with them and kind of interview them. And there's a bunch of people that I really wanted uh, to be on my interview show a couple of years back and it just never happened. And so I thought this could be a fun way uh, to bring KR. Last week we had Andy who's in chat. Uh, the week before that we had Eddie Brown. Next week we have LG Music. So it's kind of a really uh, awesome set of four streamers that I look up to and that we're friends uh, all through uh, Twitch, um, and we all hang out in Carly's stream. Uh, congratulations to her on her marriage this past weekend. Uh, and uh, I know she's not uh, modding today. She's taking a couple of weeks off Twitch uh, for both of us. Um, very, yeah. very selfish of her. Right. <laughs> um, be the first to say very selfish. Very selfish of Carly. So we we share Carly as a uh, mod for both of our channels. Um, so uh, quite different vibes between KR Acoustics channel and my own. KR, for the people who don't know you, I think most people in chat do. Uh, let people know uh, what your show is about, and uh, then we can get into some discussion of a graphic we can quickly whip up together tonight. I think if I could um, create all, almost like a, a situation, a scenario where. Um, you know, the channel, if I could describe it in a way that is weird, but helps you understand is, um, you could maybe call me, I need Kamozi and it's the hot stepper. <laughs> There's a lot of joking, a lot of shenanigans, a lot of conversations that I kind of shake my head at and I go, what are you guys talking about that go on? It's a great community. Um, Yes, there's music there too. Um, there's a lot of a lot of fun. You know what I mean? Like it's a good time being in the channel. It's a good time streaming, and I think that's what kind of permeates. Um, yeah, yeah so for sure. Just, what a good time. I I love KR stream. You know, I've actually become a mod over at uh, KR. So it's kind of funny. It's the second week in a row uh, that I've got a channel which I mod for on you know my show, which is kind of a cool opportunity uh, to have a face to face uh, conversation since usually it's through the keyboard one way or another. Uh, but uh, it it's a lot of fun. People who don't know, KR is legendary. He's had some of the longest streams that I've ever been a part of, uh, you know, on Twitch or in any medium whatsoever. And streams that go on for multiple days, uh, for you know, twenty four plus hours. Um, recently we did a twenty six hour stream that started and ended with the bad touch, which I kind of loved. Um, but uh, it's uh, it's been a lot of fun uh, being in some of these long streams with you. Uh, How did you get the idea to do? some of these longer stream formats uh, that a lot of people save for really big occasions. But early on, I felt like you did them more often than that. Yeah. You know what? It started because I, w I found myself streaming for two and a half, three hours, and it didn't seem like I was really playing any song because there was a lot of engagement in, in, in the channel that was going on. And um, so I started making them a little bit longer. And then there was the challenge to get to a thousand uh followers and i was at like 600 and something and it was a challenge and i said okay well i'm gonna do a 24-hour stream and a supporter said well if you do a 24-hour stream and you get to a thousand followers um i'll get you the rc 300 i'll donate a thousand dollars so you can get the rc 300 so i said 24-hour stream bam let's do it um and i ended up hitting the goal and it was like when I was done, the adrenaline, I was like, that wasn't that bad. Like I could do that again for sure. 
right? So I had the positivity coming out of it. If if I didn't have a good time uh, or like I was just drained and it, it hurt me for a couple of days, you know what I mean? And I had a bad taste in my mouth, I probably wouldn't have done it again. But I think the fact that it was fun, you know what I mean? It was hype. Like there was, believe it or not, 420 followers that stream. Um, and, uh, you know, something like that, that's, a, that's something that's very memorable. So the next time it, the topic came up of doing it, I'm like, I remember doing it last time. It was a ton of fun. So I did it. And then it just turned into times where it was just impromptu. I'm like, Oh, I'm already at 12 hours. Might as well go 18. Oh, let's go 24. And it just piles on. It's, it's to make it not be too long winded. When Fry was here yesterday, we did seven hours yesterday and like the first thing that Fry said was, it did not feel like seven hours. And I'm like, exactly. That's what, for me, that's like, that's a, a direct translation where I'll be streaming for seven or eight hours. It doesn't feel like seven or eight hours because I'm, I'm having fun. I'm treating it like you guys are in my living room and we're just hanging out at my place, having fun doing our, you know, activities. Yeah, no, it's, it's interesting. Um, I actually did a almost five hour stream a couple of weeks ago, which is one of the longest streams that I've ever done. Uh, we did it with Davey where we were watching a Thursday night football game. And then we got to like, be able to do a pick em show afterwards. It just kept on extending. I ended up staying up until like way too late and it was so much fun. So I can understand uh, how it gets to be that way. I mean, I, I enjoy my show because I'm feeding off somebody else's energy and we can have questions and so you can go on for you know quite some time you know i used to when i started doing my podcast we would do three to four hours easy because we would just do nfl pick them you know 10 people would call into like it was a call-in radio web radio show when it started and so we'd have like 10 people on the line and i let everyone make a pick for every single game so like mm -hmm. the, it would go on and be wild it'd be people from all over the country calling in and so once you get that sort of energy going it becomes this really uh cool dynamic um and you could do like a lot of really fun stuff but i, I like your last stream that you brought in a couple of guests and i was able to uh, guess a spot on yours a couple of times and do some tech support uh, work uh, with you but uh i thought that was kind of fun and uh i definitely think in future large streams having guests is uh, a must-have and having some games and some other things uh to help you along but some of your early streams it was just music and chatting like the whole way through uh yeah. which a lot of people don't realize because it's easier to do games for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the one stream, uh, I think it was the 28 hour one. I did uh, 110 songs. Wow. And then I streamed for three days after that. The next three days, I streamed like, but I was crazy. Like, I was so without sugarcoating it, I was like addicted to Twitch. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I can understand that. I, um, it's a it's a really cool platform it definitely can suck and engage and, and take a lot of your time and energy and stuff like that but mm -hmm. uh all right, well, let's get into a couple of little design things. You know, people who don't know KR, he's got a lot of great emotes. I love all of them. I, I was, you know, thinking you do have an awful lot of Zach. You know, in theory, we could have one, you know, maybe Zach dressed up differently uh, or something completely random and different, but I'll leave you know, which emotes you want to move around and what things you want to do to you, uh, the creator. And that's kind of the fun part of this show. It's, you know, it's called you either design with me or emote with me, depending on like who it was. But uh, I want to sort of leave it up to the person um, to decide what to do. Do you want to do an emote or do you want to do a piece of artwork? We'll start with that. Um, what would you prefer, my friend? Because I'm, 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 I'm good either way. Yeah, I, I would love to an design you. An, yeah, I'd love to design you an emote, but I also don't want to be like, you know, you have to use one of my emotes, you know, like and take over, mm -hmm. you know, a slot, you know, by force. Uh, but I'm happy to design one for you if that's something that you'd be interested in. Yeah, absolutely. I I went to um, my idea was um, because Fry has like he's got the number one badge. Yeah, yeah. Like the first badge, and like right down to him donating like this rc 600 is because of him the rc 505 was because of chief vince and the rc 300 is because of um uh l and i just donated so i just donated i gave fry the rc 505 because nice. he gifted this and he's got like it's it's not uh i can't pull it up but he i think he's got over 300 um gifted subs in the channel plus the donations and 
you know, just to support. So I'd like, I'd like to maybe do a fry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fry let's email. let's let's do it. I I love this idea. So, um, people don't know, I've done emote design work for a ton of different streamers that we all like on uh, Twitch uh, here. Uh, you can see them over on Carly's page. I do all of Josh Turk's uh, animated emotes. Um, I assume today I'm doing a static emote, or are we doing something animated? I know that those five slots are very coveted, if, and I can understand why you would want to keep those five animated ones. So I'm happy to design a static one, but if you wanted an animated one, I'm happy to do that as well. Um, and uh, so I'll leave that you know, up to you, depending on how what you want to do. Uh, I think the static one's probably a faster one to build, but it obviously is less dynamic for obvious reasons uh, than an animated one. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let me, I'm just going to check something real here. One thing I meant to do, viewer rewards, emote. <laughs> yes, I've got nine tier ones and five animateds used. Right. And then tier three, there are bits tier ones. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we could design something that everybody could use a tier one, or if you wanted it to be something that only your higher tier people can use and unlock, then yeah, you know, a bit one or a tier badge. No. Uh, so I think, you know what, I don't, for me, I don't want people to have to pay more to get, you know what I mean? The subscription yeah. is, you know, tier one is, your one is it's enough okay yeah. that's perfect so um how many zach emotes do you have at tier one i was curious i was trying to count that earlier um, i've got one two three one two three three and so, then i've got and then i've got two uh animated zach ones and i think one of the tier one ones were similar to the one of the animated ones if i remember correctly um but i'm not trying to remember now off the top of my head so um so all right, so oh, there's you, a free one. There's a free one as well. There's a oh, a follower one. Yes. So yeah. the follower ones are cool for people. If you want people to just be able to use it in your stream, then that's where we should stick it. If you want people to be able to use it in other streams, then you should be able to stick it in tier one. So that's kind of the difference, you know, in, in that thinking process. Um, so um hey CT, what's up, bud? uh so all right so do you think uh do you think it's gonna be a follower one or do you think it's gonna be a tier one what are you thinking it just might change the impact of how we design it you know yeah like i could do i could do a tier one um, and and you can move one of those other zacks to a follower one in theory too so that gonna, you don't lose it yeah yeah i'm gonna do the i'm gonna do the zach tongue mm -hmm. i'm gonna take crest out mm -hmm. from the free ones i'm gonna take crest out because that one doesn't really get used and Zach Tongue doesn't really get used, but I think if I put it in the free one, it'd get used more often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And take Crest out, and then I'll replace the Zach Tongue, make that a free one, and then um, put this one in here. But the reason I don't want to put it in a free one is because like everybody that knows Fry, if they subscribe to my channel, they can use this emote in other channels if Fry is there and stuff. You know what I mean? Like the yeah. Manavils and where I else? think it's free frequency, right? I think it's a great idea. Let me see if I can share my screen real fast. And we're going to change up the view over here on OBS. Uh, this, that. And I'm actually going to add another camera. Let me get super fancy with it so people can check out what I'm doing on my keyboard and kind of a behind the scenes look on that one. And there we go. So now we're live uh, here. I've created a 1000 pixel by 1000 pixel blank canvas. Uh, and so uh, let's start with the basics. Uh, what do you think represents Fry? Do we have, or is it a picture? Is it a, uh, is it a, a bread truck? Uh, is it a, um, what, what are we, uh, what's our general consensus of what we want it to look like? So I've got a, um, Fry put up a picture in the Discord. Oh, but his face is kind of cut off. Oh, no. It is in the Discord under general. Uh, okay, hold on. Can you save it on your phone and just send it to me in a Discord chat? Is that possible? Yeah, I think so. Yep. Awesome. I just think it'll be faster than me trying to sort through a Discord. Um, Stop trying to make excuses, Robbie. 
All right. The Cowboys just scored a touchdown, unfortunately. C.D. Lamb, one-yard touchdown reception. Uh, they are now up 19 to 13 with 8.30 left in the fourth quarter here in this Monday night football game. Uh, for those tuning in late, uh, the Commanders are playing in Dallas next week. So we're hoping this game goes to overtime and they beat the hell out of each other a lot. Uh, that is the goal of this game uh, for anybody that's a Commanders fan. And uh, perfect. Okay, so we've got... Awesome. I love this. Uh, save image. All right. I kind of think we could actually do something pretty cool with this. So let me copy this image and I'll bring it into our pasteboard right here. Oh. So Don't let Journey even... ever know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to, we're going to have him peeking in. So we're going to take advantage yeah. of of this and then i'm gonna cut out the rest of it so it's not gonna a be thumbs up or something right there yeah 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 i like it um so let's take him we're gonna do some cool effects uh to this thing and maybe and hello everyone in the chat yeah and that's the other thing i haven't really talked about it so far but um while i'm in like design mode and i'm just like looking at this and photoshopping and having a conversation with you at the same time any mm -hmm. messages in chat that you think that i should know about you can interact with the chat you can let me know x person says why you know i um i appreciate that it makes it so i can really try to do what should take three hours and do it in an hour right and so uh it helps by not having to focus too much on chat so let's no take this thing and i'm gonna i figure that's the other benefit of having um streamers do this with me is that they're used to reading chat and uh you know interacting with them and it's your audience that you just brought over with them so you should be pretty familiar with them um all right so right now i'm cutting out um fry from the background pretty simple and we do I'm just making sure I get all of it. And we go command X. All right, so I'm gonna create a layer below this. I call it a green screen layer. You'll see why in a second. Pretty uh, normal paint bucket tool. And we're gonna make everything uh, green on that layer. This apple juice is very foamy. <laughs> you, can, you can drink on my stream. It's fine. Okay. Uh, um, the uh, cigarettes. <laughs> Puckin yeah, it, yeah. It, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Cool. <laughs> it. Uh, I figure this will go in my bonus uh, podcast uh, thing on my YouTube. I doubt that many people will check it out. My mom might check it out, but I don't really care if my mom knows. <laughs> you do that. That's why I stopped streaming yeah. on Facebook. To be yeah, like yeah, yeah. My aunt. <laughs> right. Look up my friends and stop in for two minutes. Play Skinner. Gotta right. go by. You know what I mean? Like they don't sit on Facebook and watch people live stream. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. All right. So we've cut them out pretty good here. Remember, this is super zoomed in. Whenever we create a final thing, it's going to be like that, right? It's going to be pretty tiny, but I like to design it big. Uh, so that way, if people, if you want to blow it up later or show it as a graphic on your stream or whatever, uh, you'll have a higher resolution picture. Um, and so, uh let's take him and we're going to affect him a little bit so you can go to filters you can add these really cool different effects to things we're gonna add a, this is a mac uh yeah we're, we're on photoshop yeah. right now so i have a very complicated setup that's actually a good point real quickly i'll do a, a quick little reset so here i am over here on, on camera number two uh you're watching me do my obs up there up top i had a baseball game going on that game is over we got the monday night football game happening over there uh, so you're watching me on a Mac stream. I actually have another Mac that is using the second camera, which is my work computer. And then I've got a PC over there that is running OBS. So I'm running a three computer system. Uh, the PC is streaming it. Uh, the Mac and all of our conversations are all going through Zoom to normalize the audio uh, and then output through that other computer. So yes, I'm using a nice. Mac, which is Photoshop. Um, and I used to teach Photoshop. Uh, to high school kids for many years. I've taught it both on PC and on Mac. I do find it a little bit easier on a Mac, but they're pretty similar programs. 
Um, so we're going to go to filter. Oh, and if there's any questions that you have about what I'm doing or whatever, I used to teach Photoshop and I love that. And I would love to teach people any questions they have about whatever program we're working. So in chat, if you've got any questions, shout them out, KR, you can shout those out as well. And I'm happy to sort of answer how we go about doing this. So we're going to go to the filter gallery real quickly. Robbie, and yeah. What, what are you doing? No, just kidding. No, Carry no, on. No, no, no. <laughs> um, so we're going to add a filter right now. We're going to distort and we're going to see what different things are going to do and affect it, right? And I'm just playing around right now to see until I get an effect on him that I really think is going to be, um, you know, cool and interesting. You can kind of see the background right now. When I click OK, you'll see that it'll just be cut out to where he is. Um, so one thing that I tend to like to do is sometimes turn people into a cartoon, right? So there's different ways that you can kind of do that. You can do like a relief drawing. Let me see if I can do something. I just want to show. Why is it adding? I'm... Oh, I see. Hold on. Sorry. It was taking the effect of the color onto the layer, which I didn't want it to do. Filter gallery. All right, let's try that again. Why is the doing something a little weird. All right, here we go. Let's go in the artistic brushes and just go into there. So that's a colored pencil cutout. We can do a cutout one, which I think is the easiest one on the eye. It's kind of like the Obama effect, you know, where they like cut them out into different colors, right? Mm -hmm. I use this for Eddie Brown's animated emotes because it sort of like simplifies. I simplified a hand down using this and then use that to like do the waving motion or the swaying motion, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna just show you what that looks like. I think it's pretty good actually. Like, I think it looks like him, but it doesn't, you know, it's still kind of have that cartoony vibe that you have with your other emotes. Yeah. Yep. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Totally all right. Yeah. Um, all right. So now we're gonna go in with the smudge tool and I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. I'm also gonna maybe use uh, a magic wand tool and we're gonna cut out some of the things like that. And remember, I'm not 200%, so you're going to see it even less when it's smaller. But I'm going to try to like draw in a little bit of the hair and simplify some of the things here. Because remember, when it's when it's brought down, you're not really going to see it too much. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try to like complete the different parts that you're not actually seeing. So this thing is a smudge tool. I love using it. It's my favorite tool. You can actually just click and drag it. it. Turns it kind of like in a wet painting that you can then um, affect it a little bit. Mm -hmm. and, and we're going to make it up. You know, it, it, he had a look obviously that day and, and we're going to take some of the elements from that, but I'm also going to, you know, change it up a little bit and make him a, a, almost like a cartoon character, if you will. Yep. Well, he's a fucking character. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> we could do something. We, I, I do like the idea with the thumbs up and stuff like that. But we could also do something, yeah, you know, with yeah, you know, his name in the background with lettering, you know. So there's mm -hmm. there's options. We have a fair amount of a canvas that you could use. So mm -hmm. I don't know if there's a saying that he likes to say. He could have a speech bubble, you know, like so just we could think about some of that if you wanted to, or if you just want a simple thumbs up, we can do that and we can uh, figure out like a background. Uh it could be like a musical scene. We can make him have the KR sign behind him, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> yeah, we, you know, so you could like almost like he was like on stage with you or whatever, you know. So there's a lot you can can do with it. What what is your thoughts? Is there a saying that he says? Do you want to keep it simple with a thumbs up in a background? What are, what are some of your thoughts? Uh, I can't think of anything that he says specifically where it's like, oh, that's what Fry says yeah um but at the same time you know what i mean like you said it, it is going to be very recognizable the thumbs up is a thumbs up kind of like in the same kind of way that um he's cart he's like cart, cart i'm gonna use the word cartoonish i don't know anything about the jargon about this stuff so excuse me yeah, yeah no yeah. it's fine and that's yeah, you know, we're just playing around. There's nothing, you know, right or yeah. wrong answer. Um, like even if you uh, did, 
a thumbs like i don't and i don't want to ask for like uh i'm gonna need this like perfect and like right. uh it has to be amazing or else i don't want it <laughs> like, that's not what i'm gonna be like but at the same time i'm not gonna be like yeah do this 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 and have you be like well holy shit but i've only got one hour like no no it i think making a thumbs up isn't too hard I'm, I'm actually right now in a second window while chatting with you looking at different thumbs up and different you know um you know to try to see what i think would look good with this um and then even if you just put in words fry like at the bottom half or however big the th you do the thumbs up and then just have fry above it or something he didn't yeah. smoke he didn't smoke he's got to drive right and when they 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 piss test you they, they don't they don't fuck uh, around so yeah i had to make sure that he was okay because i was smoking weed in here and i was like you're gonna like you're not gonna he's like that's okay <laughs> i'm just looking at different thumbs up right now you know um <laughs> It appears that guy's looking at two different things too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's just. I could say that because that's me. You guys don't notice it. <laughs> I'm just seeing what it would look like if we, you know, Photoshop this behind, yeah, you know, there, you know. You know what happens? Then we do the same thing where we filter effect it. Um, I wish you guys could hear this dog like yesterday. Huh? He's just snoring so loud. That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to cut out the whole background but not have it like. Yeah. Have a good look. I see AP. Thank you so much for your help. Yeah. All right. Let's go. That's too much. Jeff, you missed that Pokemon, man. Oh, yeah, I missed Pokemon, too. What was it? Okay, I think I already have that one. Yeah, shout it out if you see a Pokemon. I, I yeah. totally missed those. Um, catch them if you can. Or indeed. is it catch them all? I, you got to catch them all. Oh, just, Jeff doesn't <laughs> want that one. Nice. Um, all right. Let's see this. I actually like that. I think that's fine. What I'm gonna add the it. Bottom of this glass. Make a stroke and add it there. Okay. All right. The background for this. Do you think you want it to be a, a specific location? Can we make that thumb bigger or that hand bigger? Yeah. Right now it looks like Trump. Those tiny, tiny hands. Too soon? Huh? You're fine. <laughs> I just, I zone in. So don't take me at my <laughs> lack of. Uh, this guy's talking politics. Yeah, not that again. No. It's fine. I live in D.C. Trust me, I hear a lot of it. Oh, I've been I've been hooked on the videos of those guys that heckle the golfers. Oh huh? man, I don't know if you've seen it. You know what I'm talking about? I I have not seen that. Oh, oh buddy, so fun. All right, that's looking better though, right? That's a better thumbs up. And what I can do is I can also do a color adjustment. Oh yeah, buddy. Yeah, I can make it a little bit redder to match the skin pigment tone of this. A little bit darker. And again, this thing is going to be pretty small, right? So let's talk background now. Do we want it to be on a, a solid color? Do we want it to be transparent so it's on black or white? I'm going to show you what black and white looks like specifically for it. 
And then um, we can kind of go from there with some of your thoughts. So black. This. That also tells me that I need to. What's easier on the eye? So that's black and that would be white. So I prefer emotes that have a solid color and not transparent and change versus light and dark where you control how it's going to be seen in all scenarios. Um, I prefer dark mode. I hate light mode in all situations. So I like darker backgrounds for emotes, but for people that have you know light mode on, it would have a black background, but I don't know if that matters. You know, most of your, your emotes, I believe, have transparent backgrounds. I believe uh, so. I think that's it asked for transparent. Right. Well, ask if you want it to be, you can, but you can still upload a JPEG that does, you know, that has a solid background, you know, because oh. Oh, okay. like, for example, like a lot of my emotes, um, you see right here, like my Lily, I never cut her out. Right. So here, yeah, you know, she's got the grass behind her or whatever, you know, yeah. so you can definitely do it. Um, there are some advantages to having things cut out as well. Um, I, I tend to think they look a little cleaner when they have a solid background, but I did do animated ones with uh, transparent uh, for, um, you know, the one that I did with the sway and the wave um, for, uh, show you, uh, for Eddie Brown stuff. So that's the sway and that's the wave. So for, you know, they ended up turning out pretty good. So, mm -hmm. And that's just that's just a black background. Yeah, that, that actually ended up taking away the background, and so it looks like this when I give it to you. And that's got a trend. This is just transparency, and okay. so that becomes you know white if on the light one, or becomes yeah. black when it's on the the dark, dark one. Mode. So we could do that, or you could force it one way, and we could you know write something on it. You know, if we wanted to say a fry bread trucker, or, or you know, and stuff like that, or whatever we wanted to write on it, you could if it had a solid background. Where it'd be harder to see if you didn't if that makes sense yeah yeah because then you're you're not working with the colors that work with black or white exactly and then you have to like i tend to then if you are going to go down that way then you want to add like a drop shadow and you want to add a border to the lettering so that way on light it looks one way and dark it looks another but still looks okay for both yeah. um but that obviously and also remember it's pretty small so i tend to not want to use a lot of text you know it could say fry on it you know yeah. you would make that big enough yeah. but i wouldn't that want it's to readable yeah. right so what are your thoughts about background and if you want any lettering on this well i think if there's no lettering is it is it still it could literally be as simple as just a thumbs up. I mean, we can keep, yeah. leave it like this. I mean, or you could add, you know. I'm just saying, is it, you, it you, looks maybe unbalanced if there isn't something up in that corner, no? It, it does a little bit, I, I maybe, but it also looks fairly clean too. So, I mean, I, I, I could see an argument either way. You know, I, I don't think you always have to fill up every part of it because you are filling the entire right frame of the thing, right? So. I got uh, an idea. Yes. Um, what's easiest on my on my uh, uh, on my uh, Twitch page? Mm -hmm. My KR. I've got the KR um, transparent KR, and it's like basically like a neon blue around black. Yeah. With, let me with, let me look at it real fast so that way I can pull the graphic. So. I I I trademarked KR in that font. And mm -hmm. that font is um is it basically like what's behind you right now in that graphic? Yes, it's exactly the same. I just printed me... it in the largest print on one piece of paper. But honestly, I think it'll be faster if I just grab it. Hold on, I'm gonna stop screen sharing. That's what I'm saying. You. I'll That's just what I'm grab saying. it from, from your screen. There you go. And then watch this. I'll just share. Oh no, but I was yeah. saying I was gonna say put fry. But in in that oh uh, do you have do you know what the font is called? Yeah, uh, hold on, I gotta I gotta go there to find because I won't be able to see it. What's that? Because if you could put it in chat, we could do that.
That is pretty cool, just like this, though. Bang. Just playing around at this point. You cheat with borders. What do you mean you cheat with borders, Jeff? I missed that comment before. I am curious. Futura book. Hold on. Uh, let me get another window open. Let's see, first of all, if I have it, and if not, I will show you how you go and find fonts. What was it? Uh, Future uh, what? Futura book regular. Okay. All right. There was ashes in my scotch. Oh, no. I just strained them out. Luckily, they stuck to the bottom of the glass. There's maybe a little bit in here, but it's good fucking scotch so i'm not gonna oh, it's good scotch so i'm not gonna ruin it all right we're gonna go to the screen share we're going to here the future a book regular right yes i'm gonna go to the font the font's a really great website you can download A pay for it? No. Oh, I saw PayPal. I'm like, whoa. All right, I'm actually gonna do it from a different one. I have the font. I oh, downloaded do? it. Yeah. I just, I just, I'd need a minute or two to find it though. I, I think. Give me one second. I think I should be able to. What would be the font extension? Yeah, I FMG? I got it. I, I already got it. Cool. We good. So I'm going to stop that screen share. We're going to restart the other screen share again. All right. So we are open up a font book. It's a pretty well-known font. That's why I knew I could find it pretty easily. There's an emote of my head. There's two different emotes of my, like a headshot. Oh, that's from the poster. <laughs> the poster. So you just do it all. So do you do it with a little extra spacing? You must, right? Oh, I was saying do fry. Yeah, yeah. I'm just making sure that it was the same. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. so that way. Because then once I figure out the letting and the kerning of it, then I know what to put it in. I would just type in whatever we want. Yeah. Yep. So, That's the one. Uh, I can tell by the Y. The K, the Y, and the R are really the... It looks like you added something like that where you added some... Um, yep. I think bold. That's pretty close, right? Yep. So fry is F R Y, is that right? Yep. So I'm going to make it bigger. Anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, there's another Pokemon in one minute. One minute countdown to the next Pokemon. You're awesome. Let me know when it actually is there. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, there's 50 seconds left until the next Pokemon. <laughs> sure. Right. Yeah, I wonder if it'd be 
Ja tää vaan on paas. It's weird that it says air live. I got rid of that a long time ago. What? It says KR Live. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, on your um on the Zoom. Uh what do you think about that? Kind of looks like a button, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, man. I love it. That's pretty awesome. That's really good, yeah. I kind of like it on the black background. And it makes yeah. the blue pop versus if it was transparent, then it could be on white. I don't know. My, uh, that looks pretty good, too. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to give it to you transparent. And then I could always export it all three different varieties. And then you could always have them in the background. So if you want to swap it out, you know, you could always do it, you know, after the fact. Do you think we need anything else? I think it's pretty good. Yeah. I like it. That's, all, that's awesome. All right. Well, let, me <laughs> actually, let me save it because I have yet to do that. <laughs> Which is, yeah, minor detail. Um, and everybody have a good night. No, right. <laughs> no we can actually um, maybe play one. Oh, here are oh, the Pokemon. It's a Fermantus, I think. Let's see. Oh, shit. Poop. Don't. Three. We're not 18 plus, are we? Oh, it doesn't really matter. It's It's fine. It's the internet and people. It's eleven fifteen at night. I don't think people. And if they stick through the art show that long, then you know they are a curse word. I'm not going to be. I don't yeah, trust Jeff. Right. He might report you. <laughs> report right. me too. With swearing in a non eighteen plus. Right. Is I wonder if that is that actually a rule? I just I don't even know if like I don't even know how that works. Like, why do people make it eighteen plus? I don't like. Man, I'll tell you right now. I've had people come in. And they've hung around for like 10, 12 songs. They've hung around, been really supportive. And then they literally say, I got to go. I got a grade 10 exam tomorrow. Yeah. It's just like, why did you even say anything? Yeah. <laughs> like just I say, know. I got to go. Don't, don't tell us you're not 18. And then we have to, we have to basically one of the mods will message and say, hey, listen, like you got to be 18 or, or I get in shit, right? Boop. Right. I get in trouble. I get in trouble. Yeah, no, no, you're, oh. it's all good. I mean, it, it happened recently with us, so I get that. And I try to always keep mine at least somewhat PG to allow for, you know, more stuff to be able to see it. But I definitely spend a lot of time in non-PG streams. I always think it's funny that Carly makes hers 18 and up. I think hers is such a wholesome stream that, you know, it's like she just cursed a couple times in some songs, but I feel like that's not necessarily 18 up, but, you know. I would say in your show we get a, there's a little more debauchery and chat and you know and so on and so forth but um but it's, it's always amused me I guess to some extent so everything's kind of modernized too though like you hear like I listen to the radio stations and you hear SHIT and you know you hear those type of words obviously you don't hear the the big ones but you hear those words on the radio now um it's more normalized too. Like I, especially working in the bartending industry, I'd hear parents curse at their kids all the time. Their kids are like 10 years old. They're like, get the over here, get the yeah. over here now. Exactly. Like, no. And they're like, I'm going to tan your ass. Get over here. <laughs> and I'm like, but, okay. You want to be in the kids like 10 years old. It's yeah. a little more modernized. It's, you know what? It's, it's changed a lot for sure. And Curly can know. swear. She can swear yeah. if it makes, you know, makes her happy, do it. Boy, yeah, for sure. Drop those F bombs so I can loop them. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm making a couple different versions right now, just the transparent ones. I'll make you two different versions of the, the one with the black as well. I think Not I'll just do that. I don't think that we um we need the white one, you know, because I think if you're either gonna do a transparent or black is my gut feeling. Yeah. Um and uh so we'll do this black. And then export one more. So I'm just exploring a couple different sizes um, and doing one at half size. So that way, if somehow Twitch is like, oh, it's too big, you know, you have a couple different options. Mm -hmm. um, and the 500, I would try doing it at the highest resolution one because I think that it's a pretty simple PNG. It shouldn't have a problem. And if any of these have issues, we can come back and make you JPEGs as well. But PNG should be fine uh, mm -hmm. for what they need. And uh, anyway, I'll stop this. 
screen share, you know, right there. But um, let me see if I can switch us back to the other view. Um, real quickly, uh, before we let you go, I was curious, do you want to try playing one song to see if it would work through the system and that way people can have a taste of it and we can put keep it on the VOD? That'd be awesome. I know that my son is a diehard Feel Good Inc. fan. I know that you ended your stream <laughs> and you rated in to me with it. Um, it's kind of Sorry. become my my theme song uh, across Twitch uh, just because he's a big fan of it. Both of Willa Keys, you've done it for me many times. Uh, now it's my mod song over at Primordial Sounds. Andy, who's a mod for me in chat right now. I figured that could be a good one because I can show him the video then tomorrow. Uh, I'll let you build it out i'm actually going to probably swap to do a you in full screen and then i'll come back in we'll chat for another minute or two and then uh, we'll find a place to raid sounds good brother you All did right, that I'm... super fast <laughs> yeah <laughs> i you can tell that i've done photoshop now 25 years right it's like i used to teach a whole class on doing graphics and that's why I do so many animated GIFs, so I'm just so used to having to time out and doing five to ten frames of whatever we just did. And so now when I do static ones, it's just like people are like, oh, can you make this for me for like a for a raid train? I'm like, oh, sure. Like, give me like ten minutes. Like, oh, wait, <laughs> me... that's not animated? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> but it's funny is I wanted to show you one thing real quick, actually, before we uh, before I go, because you could make it animated so fast and people don't even realize like the power of this program. So I'll just show you real quickly. So if we ever down the road wanted to, um, I'm just gonna do the two up uh, for us real quick. A you good just, idea. You, yeah. Have so him, have him slide in. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. The fun comes up. Perfect. Watch. Well, I will show you how fast I can make that happen. So oh. you go to create video timeline. You go to frame by frame animation. This is gonna be our last frame. But we're gonna keep leave it in the first frame for spot for right now. We're gonna make him so we're gonna make this hand slide up. Black a little bit bigger. And then we're gonna make him just cut him out real quick. I'm going to load up the song. Oh, yeah. Yeah, why don't you start looping while I do it? That, that could be kind of a, a cool idea.
All right. So if you want to see what this looks, if you want to see what this looks like, well, let me make it stay on the last frame for longer. There you go. So he comes in. <laughs> I do. That would take me like seven days, literally. <laughs> so many youtube videos <laughs> right so what i did just so you quickly know i isolated each of these frames and mm -hmm. then i put it two different frames one where i make it all go out to where i want it to exist like off frame right mm -hmm. and then wh where we want it to end up is this one and then i just literally select both of those frames and I say motion tween and say, make a certain number of frames in between. So it could be like really detailed and have like 10 frames in between and go like, you know, really fast, like 0 0.0201 seconds. And then you can see here, see how it slides mm -hmm. in? And then it can stay on that for five seconds. And then and what I usually do is I actually take the end frame to be the front frame now, which is the same idea but it actually ends on the frame one. Yep. And the reason why I do that is this becomes then the image that you see on the emote walls. Right, 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 right. So it's it the it's... longest clip of it, right? Well, no, it's the first frame. Whatever frame one is, is what oh, they do. The... Gotcha. So that's why I do that. But anyway, so now you have, now I can give you an animated one as well. So we can... Uh export that for you and you can use on your stream even if you don't use it as an emote so but uh um, all right i'll let you finish building your loop i gotta start again oh okay i'll let you start again all right you're not today Weird.
these hats, mats, these fast cats, like I'm a black cat, but the ponies at the track, it's my chocolate attack, shit, I'm doing this all this year, can't bear witness all of this year, steady watch me navigate, ah, 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 we going coast town with this small town, with your sound, you'll kill the ink, can't pop with us, can't pop with us, with your sound, you'll kill the ink, don't stop, get it, get it, keep out your captains in it, steady watch me navigate, ah, 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 cuts of silicon where we should rate out a hey. and no sweat about that I, I i do i love playing that tune i did say in chat that i never imagined ever playing that song i saw somebody play it and i was like man i wish i could one day play that song i can't i can't hear you though i can't hear you Robbie. Thank you. I, I I tend to do that when I when you're the music sounds better if I mute myself. Otherwise, like you know, Zoom will dub me out. So yep. thank you for letting me know. Um, no, that was a great. Um, and I love that song. I'm so excited next month, October seventeenth. So just in a couple of weeks, um, I won't be doing a show, and we'll be actually live at the Gorillas concert. I'm taking Zach, and he's super excited to go see them he is a diehard fan he loves their new album uh they've been trickling out some songs uh, the full album's out next year uh and gorillas has always been one of my favorite bands so i appreciate you for uh for doing that and i'll definitely show that to him later on uh tomorrow and uh but yeah so a couple of uh thoughts i had about uh raids but do you have anybody on your list that you want me to i was going to put a poll up and i was going to put up two options and i was going to put up whatever you had as an option as well. And we could let chat decide between those three uh, of where to go. Yeah. Let's, uh, let me have a quick peek here. Yeah. If you have one or two options that you want to throw into this uh, thing, we can do that. I, I was looking at Dr. Ong uh, just cause he was the guy who got me into music streaming five mm -hmm. years ago, but he's got a huge audience right now. So we don't have to do that one. Uh, also our friend uh, Davey is eating a sandwich uh is on as well so those were going to be the two that i was going to put out there uh, but i'm happy to add any uh suggestions that you have you know what was really fun last week is uh I, just joe syracuse rated me mm -hmm. with uh like 284 viewers or something like that at one point we hit like 350 viewers and i rated out to davy with 73 i brought a rate of 73 over to davy and as soon as i saw davy was on i was like yeah here we go, Davey. And that's nice. when he did tequila. Um, he was doing uh, karaoke that night. Did tequila. I, I requested tequila. Nice. So I'm I'm, ha I'm happy with Davey. Uh, everybody else that I see, they all have over, you know, 30, 25, 34, you know, and then it goes up to 79, 85. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, just let's just rate Davey. I don't even think we need to do a poll. We both like Davey. He's an awesome guy, friend of uh, the stream. I was able to, a couple of weeks ago, be on his stream. We were talking about how I had done my longest stream over there. We did a co-stream. So I was he was live here, and I was live there at the same time. Uh, he's a good friend. And now, basically, every September 15th from now on, I'm gonna we're going to do a show together. And it's just going to be an annual tradition. We've not done it the last two years. And so I figured it just randomly happened that we planned two different shows on the same day of the year and we didn't even realize it. And I was like, well, now it's gotta be a thing. Right. So like, um, I'll just bring a different sandwich from the same restaurant every year on that day. And, yeah. um, and that'll just be a, a gimmick that we do. So I will, uh, I'll send us over. I'll start the raid call over there. Um, and, uh, we'll do the, the raid and the sub raid uh people can grab whichever one that they have um i appreciate i know it says zero subs on the top there but i do have 10 subs currently on the channel i don't know why stream elements says zero but i appreciate all uh, 10 of my dumb. current stream subs <laughs> yeah stream elements is pretty dumb at times so um i appreciate everybody for that i appreciate the additional follow that i got today i didn't even see that live uh but um baby's interviewing good. someone Yes, he Another is. Another streamer, nice. Yeah, so he's got Scuba Duck uh, for the follow. I appreciate that. Uh, and then Mysterious Paul Collins also followed. Uh, so I appreciate that. And then um, oh, Paul Chase streams as well. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. um, uh, all right. And then, oh, there's a question that I missed. This is what racing does DJ watch? That I forgot to ask. A while ago I, no one ever redeems a question so i appreciate that i appreciate everyone for being a part of it kr thank you for joining us i'll be shooting these off to you right after stream but it was fun to do this with you brother i've always wanted to interview you and and have you on it's going to kick me out in just two seconds but thank you for the 14 viewers that thank are you, brother. Uh, i love it thanks for doing and this. yeah we'll uh, we'll talk more soon and uh have a great night and catch us next week uh sports on the hill podcast every monday night starting at nine o'clock next week we'll have lg music have a good one.